Hey there, it's the end of 2023, bar is open, so let's review the Suntory Whiskey Hibiki. Mm -hmm. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today I'll be unboxing and then reviewing the Suntory Whiskey Hibiki. Bear in mind, this is actually the Japanese Harmony. So it's not the, the coveted 12 years, or 18 years, or the 21 years. But this is all I could get my hands on. And I figured, what better whiskey than to wrap up the year with. And the box is clean. You know, it's a very nice, clean box. It looks like there's some clouds on the box. And opening it up, pretty basic. Although the bottle is gorgeous. Uh, there's nothing else in the box, it's just an empty box. So I'll just put this aside for now. And this Suntory Whiskey Hibiki Japanese Harmony is retailing at around 200 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you will get this really exquisitely, you know, beautiful bottle. And it's a 70 CL beautiful bottle or 700 ml bottle with 43% alcohol content and I, and the reason why I bought this is I have actually had the Hibiki 12 years but that was many years ago when it wasn't popular uh, and then it won some some award somewhere and the price skyrocketed demand was through the roof supply couldn't keep up and there's no supply at all so while Suntory you know uh, distills and ages the the Hibiki 12 uh, 18 and 21 this is what they came up with to, well, as a, I would say, a stopgap measure to accommodate the taste for the mass market. And as you can see, it's a brand new bottle. I actually had friends over for Christmas uh, and I hid this in the storeroom so that none of them could touch my hibiki. So let's see whether I'll be sharing this after the review. If I like it, then it's going to be hidden in the storeroom again. If I don't like it, then feel free to come over and help me finish this. And opening up the whiskey now. It's a very precious whiskey to me, 200 Singapore dollars, so I'll be using a pourer, definitely. And again, because it's a very precious whiskey, we'll measure it carefully and try to ensure minimal wastage. My hands are actually shaking because I'm very, very careful with this bottle. Just a single shot, and now immediately, the smell has come through. Uh, it's no, I'm nowhere near you know, the, 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 the nosing glass, but I can actually smell the sweetness from this hibiki already. Let's find out in detail shortly. You know, but color-wise, it's a very light, pale whiskey. You know, again, I've had a, a whiskey recently that looks very similar, you know, and unfortunately, this is the kind of color that you know, doesn't instill confidence in terms of flavor. Let's see. Right, it's a bit too pale for my liking, but again, colors all added artificially anyway, so maybe you can make it darker. And I think that you know it, it gets darker um, as they have the aged whiskies being released. So this one being the Japanese Harmony, a blended whiskey, it's probably meant to look like this to indicate more entry level. It's always for entry level. And I like to swirl um, the whiskies just like people swirl wines. Uh, main reason is I want to see how it takes for all these licks to come back down to the whiskey. And this uh, is not giving me much confidence as well because a lot of it has started to come down almost immediately and disappeared within like 5 seconds. There are however some lingering licks still trickling back down. So this could also indicate it might be a layered whiskey. Sense-wise, maybe that's the reason why it's $200, because it doesn't have that paint thinner smell. It's a very fragrant sweetness. So, the first way to drink whiskey is to have it neat. Now, to drink whiskey neat, first you should exhale, sip and swallow, and then inhale and exhale through your nose. So, this allows the flavor to play around in the mouth and then through your nose as well. And with that, Taste test one. Oh, it burns. 
it burns my mouth. It doesn't taste sweet, it's actually a bit wooden, a bit oaky flavour. Dry as well at the, at the back of my tongue, at the top of my throat. However, there's also a blendness. Uh, it's actually very, in the middle of my tongue, it's bland, there's no taste to it. So it burns me at the sides, uh, it dries my throat, it dries the back of my tongue, but the middle of my tongue has no flavour. So unfortunately, this $200 uh, Hibiki Harmony is not suitable to be consumed meat. But we'll try the second way, which is to add a bit of water to the whiskey to see if it opens up the flavours a little bit. So again, I will carefully pour a single shot. If you see my hands shaking, it's $200. Hello. And again, into the glass. But this time round, as mentioned, I'll be adding water. Now, because you add water into it, uh, I recommend swirling it once more to ensure that it mixes uh, with the whiskey. And because it's already mixed, you don't have to drink it like the first way. So all you have to do is just enjoy the taste. Taste test too. Drinking it with water removed the blandness. So now my, the middle of my tongue has that sweetness, but it's very faint. It's a mild sweetness on the middle of my tongue. The burn on the sides are greatly reduced and the dryness at the back is gone as well. So it, it changed the whiskey quite a bit. Um, it, it, it changed from a very dry whiskey to a, a slightly sweet whiskey with, and, and removing the dryness. It's definitely more preferable to drink it this way. And finally, the third way to drink whiskey is on the rocks. Now, I usually have it with an ice ball. If you want to use crushed ice, you want to use ice cubes. It's no hard and fast rule. It's just whichever way you prefer to have it chilled. Likewise, I'll be using a single shot. And into Nice. So I already know that having it with water uh, improves the flavour a little bit. So let's see whether the texture or the flavour changes when it is chilled. Right, so it's a very cold glass, I left it in the freezer, it's a very cold... Uh, and it's a big ice cube and I poured the whiskey over it so it's been chilled sufficiently. So let's go the taste test tree. Having it chill, remove the burn completely, but it introduced a slightly unpleasant taste at the back of my tongue. It has that, it has that, I don't, I don't want to use the word backflow, you know, but it feels like that because it's like when I, when I have a lot of whiskey and I sleep and I wake up the next morning and I have that taste in my mouth, having it on the rocks tastes like that. So personally, well, I remembered the Hibiki 12 to be amazing. This Hibiki Japanese Harmony isn't. I recommend having it with a little bit of water to open up the flavours, you know, get some harshness, get some sweetness coming in. But having it neat or on the rocks is just wrong. So unfortunately, my conclusion for the last video of this year is that this $200 bottle of Hibiki Japanese Harmony is better left untouched. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions. They're not to be used as an industry standard. But I want to find out what you think about this Hibiki Suntory Whiskey Japanese Harmony. Have you tried it? You know, do you like it? Drop me some comments. Let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one new video every week. Plus, if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send them the link to the video as well. Most importantly, my friends, thank you for supporting the channel uh, in 2023, helping to monetize the channel. Uh, I really wish everyone a, a wonderful, wonderful new year. Please stay healthy and happy drinking.